All right, how we doing guys? Dino here from Fundamental Guitar. In this lesson, I'm gonna be showing you how to play No Woman Will Cry by the late, great Bob Marley. Absolutely fantastic song by an absolute legend. Uh, very popular, very well known. And it's probably, you know, there's probably a quite a few tutorials out there already online for this song. But as always guys, I don't wanna just teach you a song. I always wanna give you a little bit more. So in this one guys, I'm gonna have a little look at something called the push. And also gonna talk a little bit about bass walk which is in the song and these are the kind of things that feature quite commonly in reggae music uh, the push is to do with the rhythm and the chord changes it's, it's, it's related to a syncopated beat broken beat and the bass walk obviously bass uh, movements are very important in reggae music so we'll have a little look at both of those two things during the lesson I'll start by having listened to how it sounds though and we're going to a breakdown remember we've got the chords guys and the song structure in the description there'll also be a link there to my website where you can download a free pdf Okay, so we've got the capo on the third fret, that's just for my vocal range. I think the original recording is capo one. We're playing in, uh, I'm going to be singing the low octave. We're playing in the feel of C, 4 4 timing, and it's standard tuning. So let's have a listen to how it's going to sound. Get your past So dry your tears I say So the chorus No one mind will cry No one mind will cry There we go, that's how it sounds guys Let's start breaking it down There's Only five chords for the whole song Um C, G slash B, which uh, we'll have a look at how to play in a minute. Uh, a minor, F major seven. Okay, you can play an F bar if you want. It's gonna be a lot easier though to play an F major seven um, with the transitions and when we put the push in as well. And last chord is a G, okay, which we know how to play. Um, we should know how to play, in fact. If you don't, or if you need reminding, check the description, the tabs are there. Let's start going in uh, with the timing. In fact, no, let's first let's look at how to play the G over B. Okay, so if you was gonna play a G, guys, uh, the second finger there playing third string, uh, sixth string third fret, relative to the capo would be a G. Okay, so that's the bass note, okay? So if you was to take that finger off now, and now play from the fifth string, second finger, sec uh, second index finger, sorry, is playing a fifth string, second fret, that's a B, so now the chord, a G slash B. It's still a G, but the B is in the bass. So whenever you see slash chords, guys, the, the letter that's directly after the slash is the note that you want to play as the bass note. Okay, so B is in the chord. This is a major triad G, G, B, and D, the three notes that make up G. So B is the third from the scale of G. So we're just play, playing an inversion there with B in the bass, okay? So you may have noticed when I was playing my G slash B, instead of going to the you know, typical common way of playing it, one, two, three fingers, I was actually going to two, three, and four fingers. Okay, so this is more of an intermediate way to play it. Play it, and if you're playing in feel of C, guys, it's much more efficient to use this fingering between your Cs and your F major sevens and your A minors. I know the four chords that really feature heavily uh, when you're playing songs in the key of C. Okay, so try and develop your uh, skills to be able to play the G with the two, three, and four fingers to start with. Okay, and then once you've got that, then just take that third finger off, play from the fifth string and it would be your G slash B, okay? And that's gonna be important for the bass walk, which we're gonna talk about a bit later. So the timing, guys, is split bars, two each for each chord. So C, one, two, G over B, three, four, A minor, one, two, F major seven, three, four. Okay, so um, for the F major seven, it's just, you can play the F bar there, index finger will bar the first fret, okay, but instead, what we're gonna do now is take the index finger and play the second string in the first fret. Okay, and we're gonna play from the fifth string down, F major seven. So the E then that's open, 
E's the seventh note in the scale of F, so it's F major seven. Okay, fifth string down, technically that's a C. So really it'd be an F major seven slash C, okay, because C's the, the bass note here. And um, we don't really want that, so try and get your thumb to play the sixth string first fret, which is the F. Now you can strum all six strings, it's gonna be your F major seven. So again, start off with the slash C, the, the uh, fifth string down, and then get your thumb over to get the F in the bass for F major seven. Okay, so let's play those chords together. One, two, G of a B, three, four, A minor, two, and F major seven, four, and. I remember when we used to sing. That's two bars, repeat it again. In a government yard in trench town. Okay, so that's your four bar progression. It's in the description, it's telling you how many times to play it that just gets repeated over and over again for all your verses, okay? Something missing though, something sounds a little bit different to how I was playing when I sang, and that's gonna be the push. So we're gonna have um, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. So between the A minor and the F, the push occurs, and what it is, the F's gonna come in half a beat earlier than normal. So what is normal first? Normal is two beats for each bar, A minor, one, two, F major seven, three, Four. So if major seven comes in the three, now it's going to be coming in the end of the two. So you get this A minor one, two, and three, four. Again, A minor one, two, and three, four. So you do the A minor one, two, change to F major seven, and three, four. Okay, so to keep it simple, guys, while you're learning this, all your beats are going to be down strokes, and then the ands are going to be up strokes. Okay, later on you can break the rules, which is what I was doing when I was playing it. But for now, keep it nice and simple. Okay, so that push is going to happen in between A minor and F, and that's what's kind of giving it that kind of rhythm, that movement that you get with the reggae uh, songs. So that's the uh, the verse, guys. Um, let's have a look at the, uh, the the chorus. It's not that different. The first two bars are the same as the verse C G of a B, A minor to F with the push. Then you're going to get a bar of split bar between C and F. One, two goes to F major seven three. Four and then a bar of C to G. One, two, three, four. Okay, but then we're also going to add in a push. A bit weird one, a bit of a weird one here. The push is not going to come in between the two chords in the middle of the bar, which is normally how you see it. It's actually going to come in between the two bars, which doesn't happen that often, but it's, that's why this is a really good song to develop your guitar playing skills. You know, you're learning how to play an intermediate type of G, then you an inversion of the G, then you play an F major seven with a thumb over and you're learning the push, so it's incompleted beat. Okay, and also we're gonna talk about a bass walk as well in a minute. So the push there is gonna happen between the F and the C, so the end of the third bar going into the fourth. So that means the C in the fourth, fourth bar normally would come in on the one, but it's gonna come in on the end of the four, half a beat early. Okay, so let's go for all of it first. So you're gonna, the chorus is C, G of a B, A minor to F, with the push, the same thing. And now C to F, second push okay so let's do the third and fourth bar C one two F three four and that's when the next C comes in G for the third and fourth beats do it again one two three four and one two three four so let's do that chorus with the melody Push. Oh, woman, no cry. So you can see, you can hear now why the push is important. Um, oh, woman, no cry. It's following what the melody is doing. Okay, so and you end in the G. And go back into your verse. Na, 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 na. Okay, now that's the song, that's the chord, the progression of the timing. Let's have a quick look at uh, what the bass line, what's happening with the bass walk, okay, and that's why I would suggest, you know, working towards playing the G slash beat, because um, I said the G, you know, you take the index, take the second finger off, and now the bass note's no longer G, but it's going to be B, okay, so if you play the chord, C to G over B, and A minor, let's isolate the bass notes, okay, so it's going to go, Okay, so you can hear the bass is actually walking down. C, B, A. If you play the G, 
standard, you're going to get which doesn't sound as nice when you isolate it and that's the thing with reggae music, the bass line wants to be prevalent in some ways, shape or form, so if you were finger picking it so you're isolating the bass notes and you hear them, or if you, even if you were strumming and hitting the bass note and then the chords um, bass note okay but there's an option there you can play a normal G but a G of a B is also going to be more of a challenge and that's the uh, the better way to play it okay so there we go guys that's all the information uh, nothing too too uh, um, too too deep if you have any questions though as always give me a shout leave a comment and I'll get back to you and hopefully I shall see you again soon take care